Hello and welcome everyone to the next episode on SAP Analytics Cloud Training with AnubhavTrainings.com. In this video, we will discuss about how to perform currency conversion in planning model. Whenever you have financials data, which is collected across different subsidiary units of your organization, you would probably end up having this data in different currencies. So what we wanted to now achieve is to perform a consistent currency conversion of the financials values to a common currency. By default, the default currency for all the values which is used in SAP Analytics Cloud is US dollars. So you can always maintain different currency conversion rates based on average as well as the end date average for currencies and then based on that the currency conversion will take place. So let me show you where do we maintain this setting and how do we observe the currency conversion in the system. So what I have here is a planning model which has already been created. I would go to the preference of this planning model and I will choose here an option called currency. You can see I have switched on already my currency conversion in the system and when you come down I have already provided SAC currency rates. This SAC currency rates is already maintained in my home create currency. So this is where you can see all the currency rates will already be maintained. So you can see always I can go ahead and create a new currency conversion or I can also go back to existing currency conversions which are currently maintained in the system. So let me switch it over and show you the existing rates how they are being maintained currently in the system. You have to click on the modeler button and I can see I already maintained rates in the system. So here is where I maintained the currency conversion rates already in the system. And you can see here are the rates converting all my values to different currencies. Now what I will do is I will show you the data set. So this is my data set where I have the sales data for different products across different entities in my company. I will quickly go and create a PO table on the sales data. So let me go back to the sheet and if, if you observe here I have this data available in different different currencies. For example I have data also in euros and also I have data in yuans. So you can see I have data in different different currencies in my actuals. So what I will do now is I will go back and create a pivot table selecting all my transactions and now I will drag and drop here the version into the filter and I'm only interested to see the data for actual version and please sum up all the values as you can see if I sum up all the values which are in unconverted values like the currencies which are in USD, Euros and Yuan all of the total comes as this divide by 1 million 538.63 million negative. This is the value which I have at the moment in the real system. But remember, this cannot be projected to the business because we have summed up euros, yuans, and US dollars. All three of them have different currency exchange rates. So what I will do now is based on this model which I've already created and maintained the currency conversion rates, I will create a story. So let me go ahead and create a story over here in SAP Analytics Cloud. So I've already added a story page with my data model and I'm just going ahead and creating a table. And you can see I have my finance data for actuals coming up right away in front of me. And this value is coming as 359 millions. As a result of that, you can clearly see my 538 million actual data got converted to 359 point something like 38 million. So this difference why it is happening because SAP Analytics Cloud is performing a currency conversion based on the rates which I have maintained in my currency exchange section. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how does SAP Analytics Cloud is doing currency conversion for complete detailed training on SAP Analytics Cloud and currency conversion including planning model and planning scenarios. Feel free to subscribe our training on anubavtrainings.com 
and I will see you in the next video.